Hello to everyone. Every day, Amazon's fulfillment centers handle thousands of packages. Robin, Amazon's robotic arm, picks up, scans, and organizes more and more of these packages. A suction gripper on Robin picks up packages from a conveyor belt, scans them, and then places them on a drive robot that routes them to the correct dock. Because of the rapidly changing environment, Robin's work is particularly challenging. Robin responds to its environment in real time rather than simply performing pre-programmed motions. The world in which Robin lives is constantly changing. Charles Swan, a senior manager of software development at Amazon Robotics and AI, said the robot understands what objects are there and decides which one to grab. It does all this without having to be scripted by a human. Researchers do similar things all the time. Production, however, is uncommon. When teaching Robin how to recognize packages coming down a conveyor belt, Amazon took a unique approach. Rather than teaching computer vision algorithms to segment scenes into individual elements, the team had the model try to locate objects in an image on its own. The model finds an object and the team gives feedback on how accurate it is. With pre-trained models that identified simple elements like edges and planes, the team gradually taught Robin to identify a variety of packages. The team gathered thousands of images and drawn lines around the different packages to continue to improve the system. Bhavana Chandrasekhar, a software development manager at Amazon Robotics, says that everything is a jumble of sizes and shapes. In addition to our usual brown and white holiday packages, you might see Minions or Billie Eilish during the holidays. There may be a change in the taping schedule. Sometimes, even humans find it difficult to distinguish one package from another. There may be a white envelope on top of another white envelope, and both are crinkled, so you can't tell where one envelope ends and the other begins. These images are used to constantly retrain Robin, but they're not the only method the team uses to make Robin as accurate as possible. It is able to give feedback about how confident it is about its decisions. Robots that mark images as low confidence are automatically sent for annotation and added to the training deck. When it makes a mistake, Robin also knows. Robin will attempt to correct the problem if it drops a package or places two packages on one sortation robot by mistake. Otherwise, a human will intervene. Robin is currently being implemented in small numbers, but the project's push for accuracy means that it will soon be rolled out at scale. However, there is still some room for improvement. The team hopes that it can update the robot multiple times a week with new fleet metrics and Robin is retrained every few days with new metrics. Thank you for watching and subscribe for feature videos.